Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today's going to be all about Trump's mental decline, dementia. Um, I'm sorry to say this with a little uh, gleeful uh, glint, but um, you know it's becoming more and more obvious as people uh, in the news are saying, it looks like that's what's going to happen. You know, his father uh, suffered from dementia, and that's when uh, Trump finally closed the, put the hammer down on everything and took everything away from his dad. So uh, that's what the video will be about. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about Melania. Is a divorce in her future? So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, that's what all the talk is about. Is Trump, you know, going away? Falling asleep in court, um, getting uh, facts and uh, figures uh, confused, people's names, events. All of that can be uh, early stages of dementia, and it came on, I think, pretty fast for his father uh, once the symptoms started showing. So uh, it could be the same uh, for Trump. Uh, I'm going to use these vice versa tarot, which you remember they have pictures on both sides, so they're a little uh, interesting to use. And I'll talk about it at the end of the video. Remember, I'll tell you all about the cards then. But um, so yeah, Trump is uh, dementia setting in is that what's going to keep him out of office um is it going to get diagnosed uh will we know about it and then melania trump is a divorce in her future and i don't think so i think she would uh, just hang in there even if he got dementia this is just me not any uh, uh tarot situation uh, i think she would just hang in there and uh, i don't think she will ever marry again that's what i'm saying it's not what the cards are saying and uh but we'll see what uh, we get on that so before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. So dementia. Appropriate cards for that, I think, because there's two sides of a coin, you know. Uh, the folks who are uh, succumbing to this uh, horrific uh, ailment um, many times have uh, dual personalities as they start to change. And uh, so this uh, two uh, faces on a card seems to make sense. But dementia. Let's do just three cards to see if we're in the right direction. Dementia and Trump. One, two, three. And remember, I'll turn these over. To, uh, so the reveal will be on the side that we're not actually seeing. So dementia for Trump. What is this going to mean? Uh, okay, so this is the uh, ace. Oh, this is the magician. How is this the number one card? Oh, yeah, because the fool is zero and the uh, magician is one. So we have here the magician. And it's interesting that uh, this shows us someone who used to have everything uh, at their disposal now uh, is limited okay uh, the next card then is going to be this knight of cups and again where we, we would see the knight coming up to the issue but here we see the knight uh, leaving in darkness and uh, the knight of cups so this is a very emotional situation and then the final card here is the devil card and again um, this is lesser intention and this is all of these cards have their back turned on Trump. So yeah, I will say that the, the issue has happened, the dementia is setting in, and now they're walking uh, towards that, or he's walking away from reality. So yeah, this is um, positive that uh, there's a dementia issue, which is what got his dad. So Donald Trump is dementia. Let's do a six card draw. And I hope that it addresses, is, is dementia what's going to keep him out of trouble, really? Is it going to keep him out of the Oval Office? Those two things are the main questions I want to know. Let's get six cards for the uh, a dyadic cross, and it's looking good. We'll do another four cards for a full Celtic cross, which is ten cards, obviously. So six. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. So um, dementia, Donald Trump, what can this, the cards tell us about that? Signifier card, dementia and Donald Trump. Well, we have the, um, is this a king? This is a king, this is a king of swords. So swords are truth, justice, rules of law. We can see there's lightning cracking in the distance. And again, someone with his back to us. So this is gonna be a theme, I think, throughout this reading. And it's just telling us that uh, we're seeing the back of Trump now. The signifier card is that he's on the way out. The challenge to that then is the seven of pentacles. Pentacles are, are value or money. I think in this case, it's both. And this is someone sitting down wondering, have I done enough? And I think in those lucid moments when he has time to reflect on his sad life um, before he slips into his little uh, daydreams of dementia, this is what he's going to be looking at and uh, almost helpless saying, did I do enough? The basis of this whole reading then is the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is... Um, this is interesting because the Wheel of Fortune, I would have thought would be also with his back turned to us, but it's in looking in our direction. The base, oh, that's because the basis is all, all of this is whether our fortunes will be in the forefront now rather than just uh, Trump's. So that's the basis of this. In the past of this reading then is the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups is always remembering how things were in the past, if you can remember. And then um, the sky of this reading for Donald Trump and dementia is this nine of cups. Someone who's, uh, they call this the greedy merchant, a very emotional situation of someone who's willing, who wants to display their value. And it's almost like a dream in this case. So that's interesting. I think his only uh, aim now is to show his value in winning this case and trying to avoid conviction. And then the final outcome uh, for this uh, is the King of Swords. What did I have here? So I can't have two King Swords. So this is this a Queen? Okay, let's go back. These are both swords. This is the King. Oh yeah. So this is the Queen. Oh, it looks kind of masculine, but it is the Queen of Swords. Right here. So the final outcome is the Queen of Swords. Ah, this has to be Melania. She's the one that's going to come out on top of this situation, just like I said. So let's do uh, four more cards to finish this, but I want this reading to focus on Donald, not on anyone else. So, um, yeah, his back is, is turned on us. He's worried that he's, has he done enough. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in our direction. Remembering how things were in the past is interesting. This, this reading has an element of remembering in it when we're talking about dementia. Uh, the All the value is up in the air, and uh, it looks like Melania is the one who's going to come out on top of all of this. But let's get four more cards to better define this. So the very signifier of that question, the very self of that question about Donald Trump and dementia is this Ace of Cups. That's a great big outpouring of um, emotion and I think those people who are just diehard Trump fans will be very um, upset over this. The um, atmosphere that that's in though is this uh, page of cups and the thing about this emotional page of cups is there's a surprise jumping out of the cup. I think the surprise is that that's what's going to save him in a manner of speaking. He'll lose his mind but he'll be saved from some sort of uh, prosecution perhaps, or even knowing that he's been prosecuted. And the hopes and the fears for this right here is this 11. So is this, oh, this is judgment. J the hopes and the fears for this is judgment and judgment is facing us straight on, okay? So she's going to be there. It looks like judgment will be passed regardless of his mental state. And then the hopes and the fears or the final outcome for everything. Wow, is that magician card with the faculties full front. Now remember it started out like this, that magician card in that small little three card read. But now we have the magician card up front. So the likely outcome of this is that this is gonna be his magic that helps him escape um, punishment. I won't say prosecution, but I'll say punishment. 
So it started out with uh, Trump is back to us. Uh, he's challenged by worrying that he hasn't done enough, of course, uh, that's in his lucid moments, and also worrying about losing his fortune. The basis is all the, of all this is the wheel of fortune, which is now in our favor. Remembering how things were in the past, these will be uh, uh, mournful uh, moments for Trump. In the sky of this is this nine of cups, but this is a fleeting uh, um, uh, salve. This is something that's not going to give you much comfort. Uh, the fact that he can dispel his emotional wares. And it looks like Melania is going to be the uh, the only winner in that situation. Um, this emotional outpouring is going to be from his disciples. Um, the surprise in this is how it saves him from prosecution or punishment, perhaps. Uh, judgment is still full-faced, flat-on looking at what's happening. And then the magician, again, just reinforces that this diagnosis may be the very thing that um, gives him some relief as, at the same time as it's giving him torment. That's very sad, um, but appropriate. Now, um, let's just do Melania now because I want to know, is she going to remarry? Is she going to stay single? Because I have no doubt that she's going to be, if not a widow right away, she's going to be a woman uh, with an absent husband. Melania Trump, what's in her future? I'm just gonna do six cards on Melania. Six cards for Melania's future. One, two, three, four, five, six. Melania's future. What can the cards tell us about poor Melania? Signifier card. She's at the same time that she's the star card. She is the star. She is the one that's being looked after cosmically somehow. The challenge to that is this two of the major arcana, which is the empress. So there's some compassion for her, so for her somehow in the universe. The basis of all this is the knight. Uh, no, this is the page again of cups. So the same page that we saw uh, before that was saying there was a little bit of surprise. This is the, the, the page. This surprise is the basis of everything that will be Melania. This will be her ticket to um, um, some legitimacy somehow. In the past of this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. And we can see this dark knight of value of money is just standing almost like the Grim Reaper waiting for the next shoe to fall. In the sky of this reading is a broken heart. I wonder if she really cares for him in some, in some way. And uh, the final outcome again is that Seven of Pentacles. Remember we had it over here. So it's that Seven of Pentacles and someone else wondering if they've done enough. Maybe she has a little soft spot for him after all. So that's what I've got on the Trumps. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So these are low Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano Filadoro, Lunea Weatherstone, and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read, um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards... I again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's a this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right-hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is in, indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. 
It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divine this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are. Because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out because there's a this and a that side. And uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that, uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them.